Mr. and Mrs. Humphrey, I encourage you to open up and be perfectly honest with me. Uh, well, Dr. Griffith? Please, uh, Anita. Okay, Anita. Uh, Patricia and I are, are really upset. Um, we're at the end of our rope, really. Well, then, please, let's get right down to it. You're here today because... We're trying to have a baby. A baby. And how long have you been trying to have a baby? Around six years. Uh, ever since we've been married. Uh, could this be a physical problem? Oh, no, no, no. No, no, no. We both had our physical exams, and we're both in perfect yeah, health. Like a rock. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> how is intercourse for both of you? Um, Anita, could you put that in layman's terms, please? <laughs> well, sex. How is sex? Um, <clears throat> forgive me, Doc. Could we cut through all the medical jargon uh, and get down to business? What is this sex thing? You're kidding, right? You know, Doctor, I don't know why you think we would possibly joke about something so deeply and so obviously frustrating for us. Dr. Cohen sent you here, didn't he? Oh, he is such a nut. <laughs> Doctor, we need your help, please. So you both really don't know what sex is? No. No. <laughs> You were born. Our parents prayed to the magical stork. <laughs> so you pray to a magical stork. And still no baby. <laughs> okay, I think I can help. This is how it works. The man's penis, becoming engorged with blood, is God. inserted into no. what we do call... Doctor, I go to the bathroom with that thing. <laughs> Anita, my husband and I did not come here to listen to your sick fantasies. Now, Patricia, <laughs> Darren, just hear me out. The sperm travels up the shaft of the erect penis. Doctor, I have had enough. <laughs> Let's get out of here, please, honey. I gotta go take a shower after I'm so, this. I'm sorry, I can't honey. You're going to get it. Quiet. I don't need you, baby. I'm sorry. Mm, doctor, your husband on line one. Hi, honey. Oh, you wouldn't believe this couple I just had in here. I swear they were raised in the Middle Ages. Oh, my, according to Mr. Tricky Hands in the Magic Circle, I should be home soon. <laughs> yeah, just before the fiery red ball in the sky is eaten by the black dragon and the evil spirits dance around the glowing pockmarked one. <laughs> okay, bye-bye. 